Hello there! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I did a video. I literally started the YouTube channel and then I totally um, went over to TikTok and did videos over there. Um, but yeah, so I'm back and I'm excited to share with you um, my One Book July update. So very first thing I want to share with you a little bit is what I used before that um, and how I got into passport size. So I was using these two folios from Sojourner. Um, They're both in Spark Brown times three. So I have this one is a pocket one. This one is the pocket folio. I love pocket because it is like... It's, it's almost like a passport size, but it's a little bit taller, so it just has the perfect amount of space for me to write because I don't have that many things to write usually. Um, I did use it as an art journal where I was um, doing um, a painting every day or some sort of art related thing, um, but I did switch it out right now but that's what I was using before that. And then the other thing I was using is this right here. This is also Sojourner. This is the B6 Slim. I had it with the um, Chibun Techo. I will definitely do another video on um, after July on what journals I will, I'm using and currently using and more details on that in an updated video, but that is the two that I was using. Um, other than that, I really wanted to try something new um, and I heard that One Book July this year I think is just um, whatever you feel like it. So decided that I am going to switch and try back the Passport TN. I've always had a Passport TN. I was using a blue one. Um, this one is not new. This one I actually had a while ago. I found it and this definitely matches my aesthetics more rather than the blue one. Still love the blue one but um, I'm in here right now and also was waiting for my new Traveler's Notebook so that's why it took so long to do this video. Other than that, these two are what I'm using currently. Um, technically, I can put them in one um, Traveler's Notebook, but I do like my Traveler's Notebook Compact. And this is still one book July. It's still in one book, technically, I guess. Um, but it's, I guess, it's in one size. So, um, yeah, so I decided to test this out and try this. So, yeah. So, this is the... Tra the passport TN that I purchased recently. This is from Sojourner. This one is their spec brown pocket with um, the stag um, TNs. I was a little worried that I wouldn't like this leather because I am more of a soft leather. That's why I chose the spec brown. But obviously, in spec brown, you cannot do um, traveler's notebook style because it is a more soft and flimsy leather so um, I actually really love the the feel it feels really smooth even though it is a tougher leather I actually don't mind it at all which is super nice and I just love these like lines and stuff so since this is a much newer um, Traveler's Notebook it is everything inside looks really new I do like that look where you've used it you brought it everywhere and you used it all the time um, so I'll definitely still be using this in the future so hopefully I can show you again in the future of how used it is so the one I chose right here is the trifold so you can um, protect your inserts which I love and you can either carry it like this or you can flip it over and carry it like this so it's totally up to you which I really enjoy um, I just have this um, card in here along with a photo of one of the film photography photos I took which is super nice and the colors and everything fits really nice in the front pocket I can also fit other things in the future so um, in the future I can bring this out um, since I don't really go out often now I can't really bring it out I'll definitely put like things that I find and um, receipts and stuff so so the front looks like this. I'm going to talk about this one a little bit later. So it looks like this. We have the natural leather on the side. Um, you have a pocket on this side and then you have another pocket on this side. And then you can have a card slot here, which I have my business card for soft and muted in here. On this side, I carry these hexagon stickers. I really wish um, more shops carry smaller stickers because... Um, there's not many shops that are doing it. They don't really fit in my passport. So this is from my shop, 
um, these are like the hexagon stickers they have I have them in a small pack like this or you can have it in a larger sheet totally up to you and then so the first insert I have here is a blank insert from Travelers Company um, this one I believe I got it when I purchased one of the passport TNs I think it came with it so it's free um, so it's just blank like this so what I use in here is thoughts so it's basically just journaling just straightly text if I really do want to I can decorate if I want but I haven't done so yet I try to do this an entry every day but sometimes I get busy and that's totally fine um, because my other insert is something I would have to do every day which is a lot smaller so that's how it looks I have this beautiful cover that I made and it's literally just text and me trying to figure out how fountain pen works and making sure that they work really well and I will know what to purchase next so the next insert I have is the craft folder right here so um, this is what it looks like. I don't have a cover for some reason. I don't know why I never made one. This is actually um, an old craft folder I had for a while now. So I just keep some washi tape. This is my favorite Starbucks card. So I used it for these washi tapes here, which fits my muted kind of like browns and stuff and then the only stickers i can keep in here are the freebie ones so this is from opal and fern i will try to link everything down below so you can go check them out so these are just um the freebies that came with it i had two orders from her so the insert that is the next insert is this one right here i actually got this on sale at um a bomb kitchen I think it's called I'll link it down below for you guys it was on sale this is their weekly insert and it was only nine dollars for the two insert obviously for January and June I won't be able to use it but I can always repurpose it in the future if I ever want to um, but obviously I'm currently going to be using the July to December and so this insert is mainly to do um, kind of like a memory a day so it's super small as you see here you only have this much space and even though I feel like every day is really boring and there's not much happening there's something that you can kind of memory keep in, in a day so that's super nice to kind of like try to do and I've been loving it and this doesn't fit my aesthetics at all it is basically do whatever I want I get to use pen pal mail I get to use things that I've had for a while and just do whatever I want um, so yeah so this is how it looks like um, I did do one week of back planning and then other than that this is how it looks so far so I also have things from pen pal I also use things that I've recently purchased or save things that um, from my happy mail so that's nice to kind of keep and showcase in here so that is this this side and then on this side of the craft folder I have some more of those freebie stickers and they're all over the place and these things I can use if I ever go out in the future I can literally use them in here so that is um, sort of where I'm at with my passport TN I forgot to mention that um, I would have I would have had three inserts in here um, but I'll explain to you a little bit on why I don't um, so the third insert I would do use in here is this which is um, a watercolor insert so I would do some cute little watercolorings in here um, but I'm currently taking a class so um, I haven't been using this at all if I wasn't taking a class this would definitely be in here and it would fit with my one book July perfectly um, because I wanted to do what I normally do in all in one book so normally I would do some journaling um, I would do some um, pretty like spreads which I will show you in a bit in that planner or in that TN and I would do watercolor so I wanted everything in one book um, and then kind of just focus on one book for one month to see how that goes but obviously I would definitely go back um, at next month to all of my other journals and explain more on that in another video so yeah so that's what I've been in here if I was not taking my class so that is that so this one right here um, I decided to not put this in my TN because I just wanted to keep it separate. Um, this is a 
notebook that I made by myself and I made it a little bit bigger than a normal um, passport size so um, if this was something that I didn't make myself and it was the right size I'd probably keep it in my sojourner but I just wanted it to have its own little space um, this, so this is something that would be way in my aesthetics you would see this on my feed all the time um, but yeah so this is the brown um, a passport tn I believe it's either brown or camel because sometimes camel can turn out pretty dark um, but I have this brass that I actually forgot I had and it's been aged really nicely so what I have in here is this folder that I got a long time ago so you can see it's been like used really love this folder um, I have um, what is this pencil board in here and then in the back I just have the other side of the folder and then I keep some of these things that I would definitely will need if I ever want to fill a page so I created this journal all by myself it's basically um, just random pieces of paper that I've collected um, including watercolor paper handmade paper and even paper that you always see me use um, that I've basically purchased and just been using and yeah so I use this for my pretty spreads um, you've probably seen them on Instagram if you follow me so this is how they basically look um, I'll share a more detailed flip um, probably at the end of the month or something um, my goal is to finish this whole book by the end of this month because it's for um, one book July but I haven't been going back into this recently because I've been busy with other stuff but I can definitely fill a bunch of pages at once so um, when I'm motivated I can do a lot in one night so yeah so that is what I've been using for One Book July I'm actually really loving it I'm excited to be back in this community I've been on and off um, for a lot of my the last few years so I'm excited to actually be around and stick around so make sure you follow me um, on Instagram if you haven't um, I have a lot of fun things happening over there and yeah that is it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video bye